more exciting than a spring carnival. The sights, the sounds, the fun. But I bet you've never experienced a carnival quite like the one at the Science Festival here on the Parkway in Philadelphia. This event featured more than 100 exhibitors offering non-stop, family-friendly activities, experiments, and even great live entertainment. Hi, I'm Jennifer Vincent, and welcome to the Science of Food and Farming. This is FMC's contribution to the Philadelphia Science Festival. So what does science have to do with ice cream or maybe your favorite t-shirt? More than you might think. Let's take a look at some of the fun and educational activities presented by FMC scientists to show just how FMC is using the right chemistry in order to create delicious foods and better fibers to help feed and clothe people around the world. Come meet our scientists. Check out our corn and products, our insects. A highlight of the day was giving our guests a chance to handle some pretty cool insects. Very good. It just tickles a little bit. Today we brought some tomato hornworms. These do a lot of damage to our tomato plants. We've actually got them on the plants to show the, the damage that's done by these caterpillars. We brought a lot of insects from all over the world. We're showing these insects to these kids. The tomato hornworm wasn't the only insect visitors were invited to meet. It's a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Today we hope we give these kids a chance to see some stuff they've never had a chance to see before. Uh, hopefully that will inspire some of these kids to go on and become uh, an entomologist or some form of scientist in the near future. We did learn that not everyone is cut out to be a biologist. For some, using chemistry to build polymer worms was more appealing. Sodium alginate and calcium chloride. Sir, can you put those glasses on for me? We are using the same technology that we use to make food healthy. The kids will take the alginate solution in the sodium form and they'll drop it into a calcium bath. The speed at which you drop it into the calcium determines how long a worm you actually make. And the moment you form this worm, they can actually fish it out and put it in this fish tank and they will swim all day long. FMC volunteers were on hand to present interactive programs, help identify foods derived from a variety of crops, and even distribute seed confetti so visitors could start their own herb gardens at home. In all, it was an inspiring day of giving back to the community. Perhaps summed up best by our president and CEO, Pierre Brondeau. Just look around you and look how many people and the kids and the excitement. And they will tell you the, the importance of science still in our society, in our community. I was just looking at those kids playing with their bugs there. It's, it's just great, it's just fun. And, and that makes our, our community so much better. And how many likes do insects have? There you have it, a look at the Philadelphia Science Festival where 40 of your colleagues helped to inspire today's youth to become tomorrow's scientists. I'm Jennifer Vincent, thanks for watching.